Hey guys, it's Rainy. So for this ice cream and popsicles home decor DIY, I'm going to be starting with the ice cream. For that, I'm going to be using this ice cream cookie cutter that I bought a long time ago in a local store. Fun fact, I've bought it to make cookies. I've never used it. I've never made a single ice cream cookie and this is its time to shine. So I'm going to be tracing the shape of it on a foamy paper tracing a bunch of them like this just so that i can place as many ice creams as i can then i'm gonna cut them but just for you guys i made a template that you can use as well i did trace the shape of this and a piece of paper and then i cut it i took a picture of it it's gonna be on my blog i'm going to be cutting a bunch of them and so to make the cone i'm going to be putting my like we cutter like that making an imprint of the division of like where the cone starts and where the ice cream is then with my pencil i'm just going to be tracing a bunch of lines for the cone texture that they have just as a guide i'm going to be taking my hot glue gun and this is going to be making the texture of the ice cream cone i made this you know using two techniques the first one is like going with my uh, hot glue gun from one side and then it leaves like a thread at the end letting that kind of thread fall on the table and just let cool there that's one way and then you cut the excess another way if you have more time and you're more patient and just place your line of hot glue and then let the thread or the tail of your hot glue fall into the like the hot glue that is there but it's uh, still hot and uh, it's still like melting if that makes any sense at all yeah i use those two methods and this one it's a bit cleaner because you don't have to cut anything but you know it's pretty much up to you so once that's cooled and ready to go i'm just going to be painting this using my wet acrylic paint just so that i can have a like clear canvas because i am using hot glue and it dries clear pretty sure they sell like white hot glue they sell everything it says but i'm using like the center one then i'm going to be painting the cones for that i'm going to be using some orange black and white acrylic paint and i'm going to be pretty much making my own shade of like this is in between i don't know beige and orange kind of and just go from there and just add as dark or as light as you need it to be then I'm going to be painting the cone itself again, covering everything and giving this two coats and letting it dry between coats. And that's the cone. For the ice cream flavors, for the vanilla one, I guess, I'm going to be painting this with white acrylic paint. Then my pistachio ice cream, I'm going to be painting this with this pistachio acrylic paint that I just did. It's on my channel if you want to check it out, if you like how it looks. Then for my chocolate ice cream, which is my favorite next to coffee, I'm going to be using this acrylic paint. I do have a tutorial of this one i made it myself so yeah if you like this kind of like shade of brown check it out for my strawberry ice cream i'm just going to be using some pink and some white make a lighter version of this pink and then for my i'm calling this blueberry ice cream i'm mixing this too which is a marta store teal one and this lighter teal this is the name of it i love the combination of this ones because one is too light and one is kind of like a bit too dark for my taste but the color that you get from this two is like stunning to me but yeah guys these are the ice creams themselves you know you can use them for whatever you want to decorate to add on a card many possibilities but i'm using this for home decor and i'm making a banner with them so for this i had this wooden cloud spins that i taped on the wall from previous diys and i just kept the whole set up there using some twine and i'm just gonna place my ice cream like this yeah this is pretty much what this one looks like and i really like it it's really fun but delicate and dainty and yeah it's kind of like contrasting but sweet if uh, that makes any sense at all now for the popsicles themselves first i'm going to be making a template pretty much folding a piece of paper and then just working on the shape of my popsicle and then just cutting the shape and tracing it in the foamy paper and then just cutting it i didn't make a bunch of them i just made four of them but i'm going to be taking some like wooden stick and i'm just going to be hot gluing the stick to my foamy paper on the back of it and then to paint this i'm going to be using tape so my stick doesn't stay in a paint even though one did you're gonna see that towards the end and then i'm just going to be painting this then i'm going to let it dry and then once it's dry i'm going to remove the tape like so this is pretty much the colors that i went for i'm using like the basic ones orange purple pink and yellow and yeah i'm just going to be adding those popsicles to my ice creams it's going to be like two ice creams and then one popsicle two ice creams and if you go for this you may have to rearrange the whole thing because you're adding more to what you have and yeah this is pretty much what this one looks like and i like them both all different because one is like a bit more delicate and daintier it's just a bit more matchy and this one is kind of like more all over the place but i still think it's fun 
and yeah, I just want to share with you the two ideas. Let me know which one you like the most, or maybe you will prefer a banner with just the ice cream and then another one with just the popsicles, pretty much personal preference. I just want to share with you this one before summer is over. But yeah, hopefully you like them, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more fun and affordable home decor that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll take you later, and take care. Bye!